In our last video, we talked about how we can create a conversation loop to answer user questions. Now, in video number five of our prompt chaining tutorial, we're going to go through and talk a little bit about how do we do intent classifications and break out of this conversation loop, right? We don't want to be stuck in here like it's Groundhog Day every time we talk to this assistant. So let's go ahead and go to our AI step. We're going to go and grab a set AI step. And what we're going to do is based on the user response, we're going to add another if statement back. So remember how we added that set step with if statement earlier on? We're going to go ahead and, and recreate that um, in our canvas. So let's go ahead and add that. So we're going to create a new variable called, let's just call it quit. We'll call the, the block uh, quit detection. Add a prompt, let's say. If the past response, last utterance, keep things consistent here, uh, has an intent to quit or exit, print only one, else print zero. Okay. Uh, and let's apply this. Let's call this wants to quit. And which model should we use? Let's, let's try a chat GPT first. Uh, we can also print, uh, we can also add some examples in here to do a little bit more prompt engineering. Let's say examples of quitting include I want to exit. I'm done. Okay. So let's see what we get here. Let's say thank you. I think I got what I want. Okay. That's a zero. Okay, so it's not classifying that as a quit. So let's do something simpler. Let's do quit. Should give us an easy one. Okay. Still, still giving us a one. Okay. Still a zero. Okay. So has a pass utterance. Matches the intents quit or exit print one else print zero. Still getting a one. Let's see if GPT four is better. Okay. Um Chat GPT-4 isn't being great. Let's add some system uh, prompts. So you are a intent classifier assistant. Help classify what the user said into an intent. And then we can add this in here. Um, so let's say, User said this. Uh, let's say user said this. If it matches the intense quit or exit, print one. Uh, else print zero. Okay, let's try this out. Wants to quit. Okay. So let's remove that prompt. Okay, so let's try this again. You can see here, prompt, prompt refinement takes some time. Uh, I didn't go through and pre-prepare it just because I want to go through this, this journey with you to, to show how it works. Okay, try to do this again. Um, Preview, quit. Okay, there we go. So that's one. Let's say print only one. Oh, let's print zero. Okay. Let's make sure it's more consistent. Okay. 
still quite verbose. Uh, so print only number one only print zero. Okay, there we go. That's better. We got a prompt that works. Let's try another utterance. I want to exit. Still quite verbose. Uh, let's say that's all for me. Okay. Um, yeah, so this is a, a reasonable response, but let's add it as an example. That's all for me. That matches. Still a pretty long response. Uh, we'll do another video to talk a little bit more about more advanced prompt engineering, but I think this gets us what we want to do. So we're going to do some quit detection here. Uh, we're going to go to the if statement and once again check our variable. If we have it wants to quit, contains one. We're going to go down a path otherwise. Go down another path. Okay. So if the user wants to quit, um, we'll say something like, "Thanks for coming. See you again later." Call this like a goodbye block. Or we could use the response AI step too, if we want. Now we just want to end the conversation here. If the user wants to quit, otherwise, if they don't, let's loop back around to our uh, conversation response. Let's go ahead and run that. Let's say, I'm gonna get our intro here. What's on the menu? Capture that, get a response. Okay, no quit. Uh, how much does it cost? Okay, um, specify how much does the chili cost? Okay, that's pretty expensive. Let's all look for another place. Thank you. Goodbye. Okay, so it's a little bit of a more complicated statement, right? Let's test if we actually want to quit here. Okay, so we didn't capture that it wants to quit. Let's just say, I want to leave. There we go. So as you can see here, we can do some more prompt refinement here to indicate that the user wants to leave. Uh, but we've built out a basic conversation loop, and now we've added some intent classification for detecting the user wanting to quit. So in the next video, we're going to go through and actually talk a little bit about how do we do entity classification or entity extraction. So we're going to extract items from the menu that the user wants to add. So until next time.